come in. Good morning, Mrs. Clark. Good morning. In a couple of minutes, day shift will be coming by. We will be starting bedside shift report. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's when we discuss the patient's chart, condition, plan, goals. We always encourage your input. Okay. okay. Is anybody going to be accompanying you? No, I'm by myself right now. Okay. All right. If you need anything, just give me a call and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Good morning, Mrs. Clark. Hello. Hello. Good morning. This is Tina. She's going to be your nurse for today. Oh, hello, Tina. Hi, how are you? She's been with our staff for many years. Um, if you need wound care, IVs done, she's your gal. She's, she's a good nurse then. Yes, she'll <laughs> be in great hands. Okay. Thank you. Good Thank to you hear that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to begin our, our bedside shift report. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you verify your name and date of birth for me, please? Uh, Lewis Clark, 211-58. Wonderful. Thank you. Ms. Clark is with Dr. Gonzalez. That's uh, He's part of our hospitalist group. Okay, she is a full code. She's allergic to naproxen. Red uh, allergy band is in place. Her activity is with assistance, and her diet is a soft gastric diet. Was on clears. Okay. Do you have any abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting with that new diet? No, it was fine. Okay, good. Tolerating it well. Yes. She's previously immunized on her vaccines. Her medications have been put on hold because she was on blood thinners. She came in for bloody diarrhea and abdominal pain. Um, at that same time, she did have weakness and dizziness. She did have a fall at home. So she has, a, she's a fall risk with uh, her yellow armband. She was diagnosed with GI bleed. Consulted, we have Dr. Garcia, that's our gastroenterologist. We have a standing order for hemoglobin if less than seven, transfuse one unit. Her hemoglobin was a little low, 6.8 in hematocrit 20.8 those are your blood levels so last night I did get a uh, transfuse one unit of blood okay. how do you feel after the transfusion much better okay. I think it did help yes, yes. Good. Uh, good. she tolerated fine there was no reactions she's now on IV protonics and her IV fluids were discontinued as of yesterday okay and how does it feel not being tethered to a lot better I can move more oh, yes definitely mm -hmm. that's good history heartburn and high blood pressure She's alert oriented times four, medical patient to room air. She's continent of bowel and bladder. She has a right cephalic 20 gauge and it's saline locked now. Looks good. It's due on the 24th. Upon that fall, she did have a scab to her right elbow. Does that hurt? Not anymore. Okay, that's good. We, ha we do have a transparent dressing that we are changing daily. Okay. Um, we did check for any fractures with an x-ray. Luckily, there's none. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. She is from home. For this morning, there were labs, CBC and a panel C. Okay. We're going to check and we'll let you know in a little bit. Okay. Your blood levels, your hemoglobin, we want that to be above seven. Mm -hmm. So okay. after the transfusion, we're going to see. And they are back. It's at an 8.5 and a 25.8. Okay. Much well, better. Much better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So also, uh, we did do a CT of the abdomen because she did come with abdominal pain. Okay. It showed no abscess, no air, completely normal. Good. Mm -hmm. okay. I see your goal for last night was sleep. Did you get a good night's rest? I managed to rest, okay, yes. Okay, that's good. What would you say your goal for today is? Uh, probably, I, I would like to walk more in the hallway. Okay, all right, that's get good. Get strength back. Okay. I can definitely be done. Okay, so I am going to update the board and I'll explain to you. you know. I also see uh, no bloody diarrhea as one of your goals. How, how are your bowel movements now? Much better. Okay, that's good. Let me put that Walk in the hallway. All right. And so you have a new team for today. The numbers are going to stay the same. 
So today is the 19th. All right. I'm Tina, the nurse. That's my number. Jose's number is 9738, and Anna is our charge nurse. And you will just use the white phone at the bedside to call us um, if you need any assistance. Okay. 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 Um, side rails, uh, three, that's good. Is that okay? Oh, yes, because I yeah. use this to hold on to, yes, but definitely. I'll call you. Okay. Oh, I couldn't help but notice your, your craft work there. Oh, yes. You knit as well? Yes, yes. I knit too. This is so pretty. Yes, I enjoy it so much. It helps me oh, wonderful. relax and takes my mind off my health issues here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I need to learn how to knit with beads. Mm -hmm. I just need simple stuff. Oh. <laughs> she was actually working on it last night during the transfusion. Right. Yeah, it took me a while, but I was able to start it. All right, that's good. Well, um, I'm going to go check on your medications, and I'll be back. I just want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of your medical team. Oh, thank you. All right. Thank you, Desiree, for taking care of me. Thank you for allowing me to take care of you. Okay. Like I said, you're going to be in great hands today. If All there's right. anything you need, just call Tina. All right, Tina. All right. Hope you have a good day. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back. All right.